Hey everybody, welcome to the GP family. Today we are gonna make vegan baked black Halloween cauliflower wings. I have my cauliflower wings right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that right there for now. I'm going to make my flour first. So for this one, I have one cup of flour that I'm gonna pour into this bowl here. I have one and a half cup of water that I'm gonna pour here. Now the thing is, I'm gonna make this flour first and then I'm gonna split it up. I'm gonna, after I get done making this flour, I'm gonna pour half of this flour into here and then I'm gonna take my black charcoal and I'm gonna pour it into this bowl to make the black cauliflower wings. So, I have that here, so I'm gonna take my garlic powder, open that up a little bit, and I would put one and a half tablespoons, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna just take it, and all, all you really have to do is just add a little bit there. And then I'm gonna take my minced onion right here, and I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here with the flour, you know. Not too much, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna take my cayenne pepper here, as you can see. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit in here, just like that, just a little bit. It's all that you really need, not too much. Then I'm gonna take my salt. And then I'm just gonna pour just a little bit over there. Not too, too much, you don't wanna have too much there. And I'm gonna just, just, just something small and then just start mixing it, you know. And then if you need a little bit more water, which we wanna we wanna get it like this, you know. And just, we're gonna take a little bit more water here. I'm just gonna pour it in there, just like that. And just keep mixing. You just wanna keep on mixing. Cause this flour here, this is not, this is not a original flour. This is not regular flour. This right here, this is rye flour, organic. You can buy it from Whole Foods, much of it for other ones. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty good flour. So you're just gonna pour a little bit more water in there, just like that. We want it to come out pretty crispy and nice once we begin to, once we begin to put the cauliflower in here. You now you just wanna get it, get it nice like this here. Not too mushy, you know, just something just like this. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water in here just to get it a little bit more softer. Just a little bit more, there we go. All right, so this is looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water, just a little bit more softer there. Yeah, there we go. And it's okay, it's okay to just continue to add more and more water just to get it a little bit more whipped. That's fine. So now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this here and I'm just going to take half of it. I'm just gonna put it right into this bowl. And the reason why I'm gonna put it right into this bowl is because I don't want the cauliflower that we're gonna make black to get into this bowl. I don't want that at all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take charcoal. It really doesn't matter how much charcoal you have, just don't do too much. So we're just gonna put this in here and we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make it black. Now it's starting to look like Halloween, right? So now I still have this one. I'm not gonna use this same one for this bowl. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start mixing it all in. So for this one, what it looks like is gonna happen, it's going to turn very, very black. Very black, as you can see. It is turning very black. And I chose an orange bowl because Halloween is almost here. Now, see this right here? Look at that. So now, it's getting a little tougher. So now just take a tad bit of water just to pour it in there. Pour that in there a little bit, see? Then we get that right there. So you want to get all of that right there. You want to get all of it. Look at that. Now, guess what we have? See? We have the black flower. Right? So I'm going to take this. Now we got the black flower here. And we have this one here. I have a little bit more water in here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to dump that right in there.
So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this in here. See, I have them two separate. And I'm going to take the cauliflower. I'm going to put that in there. Put it in there. You put them all. You can just put them all right in there. However many you want to do, put them right in there. Now watch this. You just take it. Just put them right over there. Right in there. And that's what you want to do. You just want to put these right in here just like this. And as you can see, they'll start staining. Because the cauliflower is already white, it's going to start staining. And when it starts staining, it's going to turn black. And that's exactly how we want it. It's for it to turn black. See? Just like this. I have much much more so I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to take these and I'm just going to put these right in here just like this so put them right in there and from these ones you know they're already regular so you no know, they're going to automatically get the batter on them and that's just exactly what you want to do is just get batter on them it doesn't really you don't have to have like a whole bunch of batter on these ones. You know, you just add a little bit more, however many more you need. Just get that batter on there just like that. Right there. Now, now here's the important thing. Since we do have the batter on here, as you can all see. Now, I'm going to take a little bit more. I'm going to put these in here. A little bit more of that one. Let's put these in here. Just keep mixing them up. Right on there. Now we have our separate ones. Our separate ones here. Take this one. Now for the black ones, this is going to be very, very important for the cauliflower ones. Now, what you want to do is the charcoal that you have left here, you want to take it and you just want to sprinkle them. Take it and you want to sprinkle it all over it. Just like that. Now watch this. Now, see how that is like this? Now they're black, black. Now they're turning black. You just want to take that charcoal there. Just want to put it right in there. Right in there. Just like that. All right, so. You just want to take a little bit more water here right on the side don't pour it directly on you pour it directly on it can get them to break up a little bit you don't want them to break up you just want to have it just like that enough to where you get rid of charcoal up there now see how those are coming out all right So, as you can see, the cauliflower is black. On this one, the cauliflower is really light here, really light. So now what we're gonna do, now we're just gonna take the oil, toasted sesame seed oil. This is a really, really good oil. You're just gonna pour a little bit over there. That's completely fine. You're gonna get very oily anyway. So, even if you wanted to, you could just take your hand and just simply do this across the pan. Sometimes that's what you need to do, it's completely fine that across the pan and it smells this oil smells really really good really intense hand off on the towel that's okay really intense there so now what we're going to do is i'm going to take we have to break this up i'm going to take these and i'm just going to take them straight out of here and i'm just going to place it right on the pan right on the pan i'm going to take this off of here place these right on the pan on one separate side here Place these right on the pan here. Look how black those are. Very intense. Happy Halloween, everybody. Very intense here. Look at that right there. And it's vegan. Everything is vegan here. So now look at that. We have these over here. And as you can see, the oil just allows it to scoot around there. All right, and take, we have a little bit of more 
flour on there, so you always want to get that extra flour. I always want to get that extra flour on there. That's completely fine there. Get that extra flour on there, turn it black. Alright. Now what you want to do is you want to take the light ones. Just do the same thing. Just add them right there. Add them right on the side here. Right, right there on the side. And you, and it's okay. You may get a little bit of the charcoal on some of the lighter ones. That's completely fine there. So after I get done placing the cauliflower wings onto the pan here, I'm going to put them in the oven for 20 minutes. Now I have my oven up to about 420 Fahrenheit. And that's completely fine. Just to get it a little, little, little bit crispy, cooks a little bit faster. So as you can see, we're just putting these right on here, just like this, breaking them up a little bit. It's completely fine, making a little room here. That's fine. So now we get to the baking part. I want to put them in the oven. Make sure you make sure you flip them as well to get them a little bit more crispy on both sides. As you can see, these are really, really coming out really well. Really nice here. And then they're almost done. They're getting very crispy, and then we're gonna take them out in another five minutes here. So now, as we take them out, we put them in there for 15 to 20 minutes. You know, now you can see that the cauliflower is very black. You know, you got a little cauliflower on here, and these ones are very crispy. Yeah, it smells amazing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, now with the buffalo sauce, I took a little bit of the toasted sesame seed oil and I poured it in the buffalo sauce and mix it around just to give it that after kick. Um, so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to just take it and just lightly just pour pour just we're just gonna pour it just to mix it around here pour it right on there right on there pour it right on here take that make sure that we get all of it here oh these are gonna be so amazing all right so now we do that now this is just lightly Mix them around, take your time with it. Pour them on there, get them all in there, there. Just like this. It's gonna form itself here. So get them all in the oil there. There you go. And just keep turning them. Keep turning them, keep turning them, keep turning them. Just like this, keep turning them, keep turning them. Look at that right there. Now we're just gonna take these ones and we're just gonna keep turning them. Keep turning them over. Keep putting the sauce on there. Just like that. Put them all the way around there. Turn it over some more. It's gonna be really, really good. Just keep putting the sauce on there. That's what this is for. Right. Right. Spread them out. Spread these ones out. Enough sauce on them. See, and it doesn't, it does not lose its color. As you can see, the black does not lose its color here with the charcoal on there. That batter is on there really, really nice here. And we're just gonna keep mixing them there. You got enough on here. Really nice and spicy here. Got a, got, a, got a good kick to it. All right, so I left the oven on. So now what I'm gonna do, now I have the oven on 420 degrees here. So I'm gonna take the oven down to about 400, and then we're gonna put these back in here for about 10 minutes. And then let's see how they come out when we're done.
right now we have taken them out of the oven as you can see they're nice and crispy here a little soft but not too crispy just right so we are going to do a taste test first have these i'm just going to take take a few of them off and put them on the plate here now you just want to make sure they're nice and crispy here now you can just take a little bit of salad here put it on the plate now this is how we prepare our meals and even with this salad here Even with the salad, look at that. How fun is that? Look at that, very, very nice. That is how you make Halloween cauliflower wings. So we just prepared a meal and it's good, but this sauce right here, this dressing, it's very good. Fuji Apple from Panera. Take a little bit of this. Pour it over the salad here. Really, really good. And there we, there you have it. We have a full course, nice little meal here. So I'm gonna, let's do the taste test and I'm gonna see how it tastes. Um, I'm actually gonna let my lady taste it. And she'll let y'all know. Good job, Poppy.